everybody, Jack McKeever with Druidism number 121, the Marmot. Yeah, now that's similar to the Groundhog or the Whistle Pig, but this this Marmot, you see, they, they tell us some special things and they symbolize some special things. Okay, so when we look at the, them as a totem, uh, they symbolize, there's many avenues, many opportunities, okay? Another one would be the spyglass because it's like they can see where you gotta go. In the many avenues, you see, they can take any fork and they can they can make it a success. Okay, so that's what they mean. Now, as a spirit animal and the energies that they really thrive with, we look at boundaries and meditation. Okay, because meditations take us usually in a certain direction. Each meditation is for a specific reason. And our boundaries are very much our boundaries we have created through life. And they're like our fences. We don't go across them. So it could mean that if it comes into a dream, maybe your boundaries are too tight. Maybe you've got to loosen up a bit to live, you know. Or... Perhaps you have to meditate on a certain thing that is present in that time and you have to sit there and think, am I doing this right? Is there another avenue? Is there another, another direction I should go? I mean, many directions lead us to the same spot. It's just whether we want to go A to B or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, right? So that's that, and is a, a, a magical item. We look at oh, word magic and quantum leaps and things like that because the marmot can take us rather than going A, B, D, Z, and so forth, takes us A to Z, one bound, a quantum leap. Okay, that's the difference. Now, the only problem with quantum leaps in, in metaphysics, of course, is you have to watch because if you don't have the grounding, if you don't have the ability to handle the energy, that quantum leap can also land you with a crash and a very sore butt. Okay, so that is the marmot. I hope you enjoy the videos. Please, if you need more information, don't forget I have an email address there. You can leave a comment. I'm always open for comments. Like me. Push that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you June the 1st. Bye for now.